Soren Kierkegaard on Subjectivity That subjectivity, inwardness, is the truth, that existence is the decisive thing, that this was the path along which it was necessary to move in order to approach Christianity, which is precisely inwardness, though not any and every type of inwardness, whence it was necessary also to fix definitely and clearly the prior stages. This was my idea. In the pseudonymous books I thought I perceived such a movement, and I have sought to make my interpretation of it clear, as well as its relationship to my fragments. My fragments approached the problem of Christianity in a decisive manner, but without mentioning its name, nor the name of Christ. In an age of knowledge, when all men are Christians and know what Christianity is, it is only too easy to use the sacred names without attaching any thoughts to them. To recite the Christian truth by rote without having the slightest impression of it, if any one wishes to assume that the reason for the omission of the names was my ignorance, that I did not know that the founder of Christianity was Christ, and that his doctrine was called Christianity, he is welcome to assume it. It is always good to be distinguished by something, and I, for my part, ask for nothing better than in the midst of Christendom to be the only one who does not know that the founder of Christianity is Christ. To be ignorant is at any rate better than to be informed about it as about a hundred other trivialities. That was from Concluding Unscientific Postscript, published by Soren Kierkegaard in 1846, under the pseudonym Johannes Climacus, pages 251 and 252. Swenson Laurie, translation, 1941, Princeton University Press.